Samuel Anyangu is the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Imo State. It has been two days of productive interaction between the Kogi State Government, the media, and the third annual Governor Yahya Bello Media Chart and Seminar for Nigeria's political and crime correspondents and editors in Abuja. The workshop was designed to give the media first-hand information about the achievement of Governor Bello's administration through key papers delivered by those in charge of critical sectors in the state. The governor reiterated at the event that there was no competition for the All Progressives Congress in Kogi state, noting that the election would be free and fair and would be the most peaceful. On investigative journalism, not picking from what somebody say and then you run with it. Let me just take 2020, year 2020, that is the almighty year of COVID-19. I'm sure you're not aware or you did not investigate to know that we have the highest investment in this country, even surpassing Lagos. In Kogi State, you will never, under my watch, have a reported case or unreported case of violence within our party. It has never happened. During congresses or primaries, and I don't think we will ever allow that. Rather, if you are dissatisfied, there are internal mechanisms to, 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 to solve it and external mechanisms by going to court. The Commissioner for Finance, Asiru Idris, revealed that the state had won awards for being the best state in terms of debt reduction, transparency and accountability, and took participants through facts and figures on the success story of Kogi State. In education, the Kogi State, or Kogi State rather, climbed from the 28th position to number 14 in Nigeria on the back of deliberate policies to improve the education sector by Governor Yahya Bello, but that's according to the Minister or Commissioner for education where me Jones. Every year we make sure that our budget performance, we publish it, we also put it on our website. You see it, you see it online. And if you ask for it, we will also give you. If I'm not mistaken, Kogi State remains the only state, especially in northern Nigeria, that has a fully enacted educator law, education law. And this happened under Alhaji Yahya Bello. The highlight of the event was the presentation of awards to winners of the third annual GYBSA competition, which took place on the first day. Five judges, led by Dr. Tunde Akonde, Associate Professor of Journalism, scored their participants. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.